Takashi69 has been snitching non-stop this last week in his court case. We have some new exclusive news in this video, so make sure you guys keep on watching this video until the end, because it is not going to end well for Trippy Red. Also, if you guys are a fan of either 6 9 or Trippy Red, make sure you leave a like on this video right now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys would like to join our iPhone 11 giveaway. Takashi69 has practically been on a snitching spree as of lately in court, and because of that, some new exclusive news has actually been released about when he will be released, which I will be sharing with you guys here in a second, so make sure you continue watching, but with 6 9 snitching on Cardi B, Jim Jones, his whole team of 9 Trey, and also the one and only Trippy Red, the same artist that he's actually been having beef with for the last two years. And now finally, after Takashi 6 9 snitching on Trippy Red, we finally know what all of the beef was truly about for the last couple of years between the two within the rap industry, you know, going at each other in music, you know, other than that, you know, actually real life altercations as well, which 6 9 did explain in court. But due to 6 9 snitching on Trippy Red in court, it's actually brought up a lot of red flags for law enforcement with Trippy Red. Trippy Red will most likely be taken in for questioning and it actually could be a very serious problem. Takashi 6 9 and Trippy Red have been beefing now for over the last two to three years because it turns out that Trippy Red has actually been on a rival team called the 5 9 Brims and him and 6 9 have been in and out of incidents against each other that involves lots of money and activity that affected each other's own neighborhoods and things such as that. You're not supposed to let, you know, another team control your neighborhood or anything like that. That's pretty much how it goes. Now, after Takashi69 decided to snitch on Trippy Red in court, this could actually do a huge number on his career. With 6 9 snitching on Trippy Red, this is actually going to be starting a whole new case against Trippy. Trippy Red will most likely now be investigated by the law and law officials will start looking into Trippy Red's past and most likely will be going through all of his bank accounts and phones to make sure that nothing fishy has been going on with him. Pretty much the same way how they actually caught Takashi 6 9 they're pretty much going to be doing to Trippy Red after 6 9 decided to snitch and bring up Trippy Red's whole past and, you know, his whole life pretty much. And since Trippy Red is actually a part of a team called the 5 9 Brims, the same way that 6 9 was a part of 9 Trey, it's pretty much, you know, Trippy Red could have been living the exact same lifestyle as 6 9 and if that is the case and, you know, law officials find out about it, Trippy Red will actually be doing some serious time. If law officials do find anything while investing Trippy Red, he will most likely be getting locked up just like 6 9 did. And it's actually going to be kind of interesting to see if Trippy Red does decide to snitch just like 6 9 did. I mean, if 6 9 didn't snitch, then he was actually going to be facing near life locked up. So... If Trippy Red kind of gets in trouble for the exact same things as 6 9 and doesn't snitch, then he will be serving near life locked up. In my personal opinion, I think that 6 9 actually did the smarter thing in this court case by snitching. Now, a lot of you guys may disagree, but 6 9 was looking at facing 47 years locked up. I mean, that's pretty much a life sentence if you think about it, because by the time you get released, you're almost too old to really do anything. So, I mean, 6 9 snitching is actually a good idea because some new exclusive news have ju has just been released yesterday at the time of this recording, and apparently 6 9 could actually be getting released at the end of this month. So yes, 6 9 actually could be getting released by the end of October. I mean, the law and the court, everyone's pushing for 6 9 to be getting released, you know, as quick as possible. So, if all the paperwork actually does go through, then Takashi 6 9 will literally be a free man by the end of the month, and we could probably expect a lot of new music, but I do kind of feel like something bad is sort of going to happen. Like, I'm almost genuinely scared for 6 9s life, I mean, usually, like, when somebody will snitch on one person in court that's, you know, in a team and lives the street life, I will be honest, they do, they are taken out within days of, you know, being released, and if you think about it, Takashi 6 9 didn't snitch on one person or two, I mean the guy snitched on 11. So, I am actually very scared for 6 9s future, I mean I would hate to see you know him be taken out just because that would be again another young talent that has been you know taken away from us. 
I am genuinely scared. Like I wish almost as because you know even as a content creator, six nine does bring great content to my channel. But also as a person, I do kind of wish that six nine would have taken witness protection. He would have been a lot more safer that way. He would have been you know able to spend more years with his family, all kinds of stuff. He would have been taken care of with witness protection. But he just wants to go out free. Hire 24-7 security and just see what happens. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see. But again, I really wish he actually would have taken the witness protection. But anyways, guys, it has been District Trending. I am going to be ending the video here. I'm out, guys. Peace.